up guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We're back again this week with another video for you. So in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to build an Arduino based hexapod. You saw it walking a couple of seconds ago. So let's get into how to build it. To assemble one of the legs you will need the following. These three 3D printed pieces, these three servos and three of these half shafts and also you'll need eight screws. For the first step we will need this piece so we can move these two back and we can also move one of the servos back. So we're going to start by putting one servo down over here. As you can see that there is this little cut over here where the servo wire is supposed to go through. Now I made my cut over here uh, a bit more taller and wider with a soldering iron because when it prints, it prints kind of like this. So the top part kind of melts down and it doesn't cool as quickly. So you get kind of a weird area to put your wire through and it can damage your wire so I recommend using a hot knife or a soldering iron to kind of melt this part around so now the next step is to screw it down add one screw there and one screw over here after doing these two screws you do the same thing on this side so we have our servo put it in just like this so the sticker is facing the inside it goes through and now you just screw it on so the next step you have to do is make sure that this servo is on the right degrees. You can do this by putting your half a shaft on and turning it to the left. If it stops over here, this is good. And then you can turn it around and make sure it goes all the way to this side. And be careful, don't do this too fast because that can damage your servo as well. So after we do this, we do the same thing with this side. Now keep in mind if you don't do this and you upload the code then it will not work because it tells it what degrees to go on. If the degrees are wrong then it won't work. So you do the same thing with this one. If it's too much we just take it off and put it on the right angle. And this one's done too. The next step is to get this piece which is going to be the foot and we connect it on like this. You can see that there's a little bit of place for the screw on the shaft to go through. You can just kind of put it in right there and screw it on. So here's what it looks like so far. The next step is to get your last piece. And right now we're not going to focus more on this. We're going to fix this piece first. So I did the same thing with the soldering iron. Just make sure you don't cut it too much because that's going to ruin your piece entirely. So you have to be really careful when you're doing this. Now I put this here. And it's the same thing with the middle piece over here. Just put two screws through here. And the wire goes there. So the last step to build this leg, so now back to assembling the leg, you put this over here and it should kind of snap on pretty easily. Here's the leg when it's done. There's only one small thing left to do and that is to put the last shaft on. And do the same thing that you did with these ones, make sure it's at the right angle. Right now mine is at the right angle. And the way it's going to work is that this part's going to go on the body of the hexapod and it's going to snap on like this. So it's going to kind of stand up somewhat like this. And then to lift this leg up, I'll just make it go like this, go forward, put it foot down, move back. That's the main code to make it go forward. And I have all the other legs done right here. Here's one more that I did earlier. The other four are upstairs in my room. And I'll show you guys them right now. This is how the robot is going to look when it's kind of like, you know, put together. This is the body plate. We didn't show this earlier. It was 3D printed. You can see how all of these kind of match this, they slide in the holes, you screw it down and that's how it's going to be. Each of them are going to kind of just snap in like there and we have six screws over here right there, those are six screws and this is the Arduino and the kind of the electronics, the brains of the whole robot here's the Arduino Mega and here is our motor driver shield it has I think around like over 70 Arduino, over 70 pins you can see somewhere over here I'll tell you and this kind of just goes on over here back like this the battery we're gonna put the battery at the bottom and we're gonna kind of we're gonna connect it with string because gluing it will damage it see how we tried gluing it a couple days earlier didn't really work out too well so yeah now I'll show you guys how to assemble this part so the next step is you screw your Arduino Mega down there's two screws over here and there are also two little holes on the body plate you can screw it down over there you can also flip it around, screw it on this side, whichever side suits you the best. The next step is to put your servo motor shield or Arduino Mega shield on top of your Arduino Mega and connect the wires. 
Another thing that I did was that I connected the battery at the bottom and I'll just connect the servo motor shield and then I'll connect the servos onto it. So that was a time lapse of connecting all the wires. I'll explain to you guys what I did with the wires. So here we can think of it as leg 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. The legs go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This wire is servo number 1. Servo number 1 is connected on to digital pin number 14. This bottom foot part is the first servo in all of the legs. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and so on until 18. The wires go from digital pin number 14 to digital pin number 31. Here's a small demonstration of it walking. It's going to walk forward for a bit and then it's going to turn to the right. For the hexapod, I'm using a ripple gate. You could use whatever gate you want. As you can see guys, it's starting to turn right now.